What's up, you guys? I am in a hotel room. As I am traveling once again for a work conference, um, I figured I would just do another little Q&A, a little cybersecurity Q&A, um, because I don't have any of my stuff with me. So, cybersecurity Q&A it is. Let's get to the questions. I don't know how to code. Can I still hack? The answer to that is yes. I don't code. I don't write code. Coding does not equal hacking. You do need to know Linux though. Linux command line is your friend. So not necessarily coding, but command line. Sure, knowing how to read some code, like for example, web app pen testing, um, that's kind of useful. Just like basic stuff, um, basic JavaScript, um, but I feel like, you know, that, that's, that's kind of simple. You don't need to know how to write it. As long as you know what it means, you're good. This one says, what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Gengar. Maybe second favorite, Mew. And I know that's very basic, but it's the Pokemon that I like. Do you use Linux? And what is your favorite distro? Yes, I use Linux. I was just talking about it. Um, either Kali, because it has everything pre-installed, and who cares, or Ubuntu. Those are the main ones I go to. They just started playing a light show outside of my window. This light show is still going on. Do you hear that? Thoughts on EJPT as your first cybersecurity certification? Definitely shouldn't be your first. <laughs> um, maybe your second, if you want. Your first should always be until something better and more standardized comes along. Security Plus. Then, after Security Plus, you can branch out and do whatever certification you want. But the very first cybersecurity certification you need, and that is industry recognized, is Security Plus. Always learn the basics and then specialize. Worst Linux tool I've had to learn would probably be Wireshark. It was the hardest for me, still is, because you're literally analyzing individual network packets and then correlating them together to come up with an attack. Like, huh? And there's so many. And they all integrate within, like, the OSI model. And, like, the OSI model? I hate networking. So yes, for me, Wireshark. This one says, what's the best way to become a cybersecurity creator? Well, post cybersecurity related things. Wow, who would have thought? Um, I have a whole dedicated video about that. I'll link it below. But yeah, literally post cybersecurity stuff. That's what I did. I didn't have a plan. I just was posting cybersecurity stuff, and that's how this all happened. And actually, why I'm at this conference, um, I got invited because of my cybersecurity education content creation platform. The plural. Start posting. And I didn't think I'd ever be invited to a conference for my social media. But here I am in this hotel with this weird light show. So, yay. Also, I'm speaking on a panel. By the time this comes out, I would have already spoke on the panel. So, good luck, future me. Hope you do well. If I work hard in cybersecurity for three months straight, will I get a job? The answer is, I don't know. 
It's how you apply what you know. I can't tell you if you're going to get a job. No certification guarantees that you'll get a job. It's all about what you do with that knowledge and how you network and market yourself. Yay. Someone says, do you think AI will replace cybersecurity specialists in the upcoming years? We will always need people to secure AI. That's all the questions we have for tonight. Make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I will see you in the next video.